Classroom of the Elite is an extremely popular anime and so many people consider it to be one of their favorites. Not many anime come as close as being insanely good, but there are a few similar shows that are equal to Classroom of the Elite in terms of, let's say, characters or even the premise. This video here showcases exactly what you all need for anime that are just like Classroom of the Elite. I'm gonna start with something more, the most iconic show that comes pretty close to Classroom of the Elite. It's Tomodachi Game or Friendship Game. This anime is a high stake game themed show where a group of high schoolers are, you know, abducted and to compete to win the money back through a series of challenges. The idea of the show is trusting your friends and hope that no one is a traitor trying to sabotage the game or anything. It's actually pretty insane, especially the protagonist with his incredible IQ level and intelligence that's where it comes very close to Aino Kuji from Classroom of the Elite where they both create plans and strategies to overcome bad situations. Grisaya features one of the greatest harem protagonists in anime history. Someone who is badass, he's not dense as a brick with a, you know, a troublesome past, but willing to now leave it all behind to live a peaceful life. This is called Grisaya. <laughs> Yuji is a cold-hearted, you know, protagonist like Ayano Kuji, and they both share tragic pasts of being abused, but in the end, come out as being strong beings. It's actually, it actually, you know, closely reminds me of with how both protagonists of each show help each characters with their respective issues, and that is very true. Though Grisaya is a fantastic choice of an anime to show and watch, and you should probably consider it. Now for an anime that used to be the top dog. Just no one talks about it anymore, but it's still regarded as one of the best anime. It's Assassination Classroom. Just like Classroom of the Elite, Assassination Classroom shares a similar trait of a classroom in a prestigious elite school that is heavily looked down on for being the worst, and teamwork is required to achieve the top spot. <laughs> Even though the protagonists don't really seem similar, they both have hidden talent that is showcased later on, and it's pretty badass. Just as an added bonus too, both anime are actually made by the same studio called Lurch and the same director named Kishi Seiji. Once again, with the same director and also the same studio who created Classroom of the Elite, this show here is called Danganronpa, where a high group of you know high schoolers are abducted and taken to a mysterious school to play mini games that involve killing or getting expelled. <laughs> It's quite similar to what happens with both protagonists of the show that solve the mystery case or riddles in this elite school. The students must do their tasks accordingly to come out on top and graduate or they face getting expelled, similar to Classroom of the Elite. <laughs> Now comes in Food Wars, one of my all-time favorite shonen shows that focus on cooking battles, but how on earth is this anime, you ask, similar to Classroom of the Elite? Well, it's got nothing to do with the protagonist, but mostly towards its setting. They both take place in challenging school where students must do a good job to avoid getting kicked out or expelled. One being a culinary school, and the other more of a, well, a you know, futuristic school with a variety of exams and challenges to take part in. The goal is similar to each anime, to take the top spot in the school and graduate with success. It's just, well, you already know, one is etchy and the other is not. <laughs> When it comes 
comes to Charlotte and Classroom of the Elite, I believe both protagonists, you and Aino Kuji, share similar experiences when it comes to trying to make friends and having an adventure to find the truth. One show showcases, you know, a group of high school students, while the other, a group of kids with super powerful abilities. <laughs> They're both quite heavily on the school life drama, but I do like the path they go, especially with how badass both main characters are in the show. Charlotte is a fantastic recommendation, one that you should definitely watch. Liar Liar is a brand new anime and exactly quite similar to Classroom of the Lead with where, you know, students face off against each other to rise in the ranks and get on the top. <laughs> Both protagonists tend to hide their abilities. One of them lies that he is the best of the best, and the other is more mysterious, hiding his tragic past from the White Room. Though looking at the general side of things, both look pretty futuristic in the academy, where challenges and tests are part of the show to give the students in both anime a taste of what is to come. <laughs> Now you probably need yourself, you know, an intelligent protagonist just like Ayano Kuji. Someone capable of manipulation who can outsmart people and that is exactly what you would get from this anime called Talentless Nana. A special school exists to those with superpowers and one regular human without powers is sent to pose as one of them to kill them all. Nana Hiragi, the protagonist, works for a secret organization that is on a mission to eliminate high threat targets of humanity and those powerful kids need to be dealt with. That's why Nana will befriend, spend time with, and eliminate as many as she can. <laughs> Kakegurui takes place in a very prestigious gambling school. Much like Classroom of the Elite, there are, you know, with low status or grades. They get bad treatment, those guys. Those poor, poor guys. Both protagonists are extremely intelligent and have the goal of rising to the top. It involves actually a lot of mind games to outsmart opponents, and only the best gamblers find success in a school to win money and become rich from betting. Sayaka, may I see you? <laughs> a crazy protagonist who's obsessed? Well, you ask for it. It does come pretty close to Classroom of the Elite, and I can guarantee it's an anime you can easily enjoy. And now for my final recommendation on the list, it's gotta be Hayoka, a big fan favorite back in the good old days, with an anti-social protagonist with problem-solving capabilities just like Ayano Kuji. <laughs> Both protagonists are extremely smart to get that out of the way, and that's mostly the biggest similarity between the two shows while the rest is very different. Obviously, one is more futuristic, but Hayoka does focus more on solving mysteries while Classroom of the Elite is more about Ainu Kuji helping out Horikita to get to Class A and reach the top. Overall though, Ayoka is a must watch to those who haven't seen this beautiful masterpiece yet. Thank you all so much for watching all the way to the very end. As always, subscribe if you did enjoy and let me know down below the reasons as to why you like Classroom of the Elite. Thank you all for watching and I'll be seeing you all in the next one.